Hey folks, Jesus is coming soon. The last video I posted, I was talking about how evil people are today, and I've got a lot of comments about how it's supposedly affecting me with my walk, and I'm letting people get to me. No, I'm not. It hurts my heart to see what's going on. So I call it out. I don't just ignore it like a lot of other people do. So let's read a few headlines of a few things that goes on all day, every day in this country. Body cam footage. Georgia man used his kids as shields in shocking police shootout. Accused beauty queen killer out on bond after allegedly murdering infant. Police shocked to find a three-year-old emaciated. I can't say that word. I watched this video and it hurt my heart so bad that this three-year-old little girl was like 16 pounds and the mother was more concerned about going to jail than her own daughter. Second Timothy 3, 1 through 5 world, folks. Michigan police body camera shows officers kick in a door to rescue a baby being drowned by mother. Video appears to show a police officer, because I can't say that town, punch person in the face during road rage incident. Then there's the video going around where the cop mag dumps someone inside of his car for an acorn falling on his car. I don't know if y'all have ever heard that, but it does not sound like a gunshot. Matter of fact, there's a white oak right here in this yard, and they fall on the roof of my truck all the time. But I only speak on these things to make a point. How much more do you honestly think the Lord's going to tolerate? This is the country where evil is good and good is evil, the United States. Judgment is going to come to this country, and it's going to be very harsh. Whether people believe in dreams and visions or not, it's biblical. There's so many people that's had these dreams about this country being utterly destroyed by and brimstone. We have NATO constantly trying to provoke a war with Russia and China nonstop. Where did they draw the line? I honestly believe the Lord is holding it back right now, but it will happen very, very soon. But as I said, folks, none of this stuff going on affects my walk with Christ. None of it. It just really hurts my heart to see all this stuff. But we were told to watch, were we not? We're a lot closer today than we were yesterday. I'll try to limit talking about things like a broken record for y'all. And this will be the last time I say this because I know y'all already know. The meanest people come inside the church. I should say come from inside the church. I guarantee it, somebody somewhere will post in the comment and agree with this. More people have been hurt by people inside those church buildings than they have sitting in their house reading their own Bible. That goes for pastors and people inside the church. They're so mean. A lot of them have been in quite a few church buildings. And if you go and look, that's why the pews are always pretty much empty. No one wants to listen to it anymore. Nobody wants to be gossiped about. Nobody wants to go in there and have fingers pointed and, and snobbiness and, and all this other stuff. When I did attend church buildings, only time I ever saw it packed was on like Easter or Christmas or stuff like that. And then when the people do come, they get judged. Well, you haven't been. You don't come every Sunday. Well, it's not about that. We're about sitting at home, <laughs> me and my wife, where two or more are gathered in his name. There he is amongst them. So me and my wife sit at home and read the Bible and we pray and we talk about the Lord all the time. Not just on Sundays or Wednesdays. But a lot of these people be mean to you about things like that. Well, you've got to attend. No, you don't. I'd rather sit here in fellowship with my wife that I know loves the Lord than go in one of these buildings with these mean, rotten people that treat you very bad. Folks, the finish line is in view. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming so very soon. Romans 10, 9 through 13. I love all of you. I truly do. God bless you.